You probably already know that Google Maps can be used to find directions, but you can also use it to alter your directions. Let me show you what I mean. So say you want to get between, so you get on getting around, go to hit click directions. Say you want to get between New York City, New York, New York, and I don't know, Buffalo, New York. There you go. The twin jewels of New York State. Boom. Okay, so naturally it goes to the car driving. It's a six hour trip. Um, but the thing you can do is you can use drunk, uh, drag and drop functionality to visit other locations in between. So say you want to visit your friend in Jamestown, uh, New York. I'll be honest, I have no idea what's in Jamestown, but say you want to find out. Just drag and drop over there, and it'll give you the new, better route to get through from New York to Buffalo. Um, say then you want to visit your grandmother in Binghamton, New York. So then you would just pick a spot, drag it up, and now you're going to New York to Binghamton, to um, th th this town, I forgot which one it was, I'll be honest with you, and then onwards to Buffalo. So there you go, you can, and you can do this as much as you want and create all sorts of crazy trails. Now you can also do this with things like walking trails. So if for some reason you wanted to walk from New York City to Buffalo, it's 115 hours, um, <laughs> and this also works on a much more local scale, so don't worry about that. So you could also stop off and say Syracuse. Now it's uh, 127 hours, but there you go. You have a, it gives you the walking route um, with all your directions. You just click on details, um, but you'd stop on Syracuse and on to Buffalo. This also works with the bike route. Okay, so here is the bike route it wants you to go, but let's say you want to go and stop in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. It will reschedule that and give you the bike trails to use to get to Williamsport and then on to Buffalo. Let's say after Williamsport, you want to go to Elmira, New York. And then it gives you that new trail. It also gives you the um, the height of, of the you know different things. And push on a bike is very important. Uh, so there's your 42-hour trip from New York to Buffalo via a few waypoints. This is a very cool thing to um, you know if you want to have a road trip and you kind of see something at the last minute. It's a very cool way to replan your trip. Enjoy.